Hi everyone, so I finally finished my tutorial on my DJ Sona board and I will start with how to make it separable for easy transport. As always, I started by freehanding a pattern. I tried it out on newspaper in some different shapes until I was happy with a shape that was not too wide so I can still walk through crowds. My pattern is half of my board. I divided this into two parts. I traced this onto 2cm insulation foam and I made two layers and both layers have a different shape in the middle so I can slide them into each other and they will lock in place. I glued the top and the bottom layer of the middle piece together making sure not to glue it onto the side pieces. It's a bit hard to explain but I hope it makes sense when you see me do it more hot glue just to make sure it won't fall apart and then I do exactly the same for the side pieces so a lot of hot glue sliding the side piece of the top layer on top of it and then gluing the sides closed and I just used a box cutter to clean up any edges that weren't perfectly aligned next I took some really thick cardboard for the bottom just to make it a bit sturdier because all the LEDs and batteries get quite heavy and I pretty much do the same, so I glue the middle part and then the side parts, making sure not to glue the side to the middle. This way you can slide them into each other and they interlock, they won't just fall apart. Because I had so many layers, I decided to wrap it all in painter's tape to get it a smooth look. And then trace it onto more cardboard, this was thinner cardboard, for the top layer. I use my pattern to draw out the placements of where I will have my light shining through and transfer this onto my phone. Next I used a box cutter to cut out all the spaces for my LEDs, only out of the top layer. Because my painter's tape was getting undone a little, I covered it all in just a layer of Mod Podge. Here I'm tracing the same design onto the top layer. So I know where to cut out the spot for the lights to shine through. Then I take some packaging foam because it diffuses the light quite well and I paint it the right colors. I use hot glue to glue it inside of the holes that I made. Then I use some laminated sheets to cover it to protect my foam and use 2mm craft foam to cover the entire board. I glued this on with contact glue and use the box cutter to cut away any excess edges. With my heat gun I sealed all the foam. In the middle piece that will be touching my stomach, I cut out some slots in the lower cardboard layer and the top foam layer for webbing material and I hot glue this in. So I can put in a belt through those loops and wear it around my hips. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you like it, you can subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and you can check out my Facebook and Instagram for more pictures of this costume. My next tutorial will probably be on how to make it floating. Then I'll make one on the speakers and then I'll get back to you on how to solder and install all the LED lights.